Hello everyone, this is Oshini from Jenta.com. In this particular video, I will talk to you about research opportunities at Jenta.com. We have been working with hundreds of students from all around the world since 2010 on Olympiad training. You perhaps already know about this. If you don't, check the link in the description for our outstanding programs on math, physics and computer science olympiads. Around 2016, we also started working on research projects with school students as well as college and university students. The result was quite interesting. Initially, the students came to us because they had such and such goals in their mind. Maybe they wanted to apply for universities in Europe or US. And in the university applications, the research projects look really good, particularly if the project shows promise of innovation. So initially, that is what their mindset is. Even today, that's what we see. More and more students from school and colleges come to research projects with that long-term goal in mind. However, after starting their journey in the research project, they find themselves in a very unique learning experience. The joy of figuring out new things and learning advanced ideas can be addictive. And that is what gets them going. Because that university application can only get you started unless and until you fall in love with the process of research, you cannot really get very far with it. So that's what we see year after year. Several students have completed beautiful research projects on graph theory, on computer vision, on hyperbolic geometry and so on. And we have found that it's a very enjoyable experience for both the students and the researchers who are at Chinta. In 2024, we have quite a few research projects at our disposal. The first part of the research project process is actually research training program. Even before you start your work with a particular question, you should have the initial prerequisites, the training that is necessary to do well in those research projects. This is usually a six month program where students go through beautiful papers written by other authors, other researchers. They try to replicate some of the experiments. They try to learn the underlying principles of those papers. This process actually takes them very deep into the research process. They start thinking with their own creativity and they can come up with their own projects as well. Usually the faculty or the advisor meets the students, a group of students once every week and then they go through a paper, they replicate and get, get their hands dirty with some experiments and they come up with results which are either same as the paper or something new. This process goes on for six months and at the end of six months, the students are pretty much ready for the next step. And the next step is the research project program. This is actually uh, 8 to 12 months long program where the students try to write either an expository paper or an innovation related paper which then can be submitted to the journals, the peer reviewed journals. You can check the link in the description for some of the peer reviewed journals in the STEM areas that we at Jinta suggest. These projects can also be submitted at science fairs such as IRIS and ISEF. Students have done that before. To great effect and that can be a great motivating factor as well. The research projects and the research training programs at Chinta are only available for certain areas of mathematical science where we have some expertise. For example, the research training program is presently available in two areas of pure mathematics. The first one is algebraic geometry and the second one is geometric group theory. So these are the two areas for pure mathematics where the research training programs and research project programs are available. 
for applied mathematics, let's say statistical analysis and parts of artificial intelligence, computer vision, data science and so on, there are a couple of more research training programs available. The first one is really focused on artificial intelligence and machine learning. Students try to create new applications. This is very product oriented and very much uh, application oriented. This, this particular particular field. The second part, which is re more related to statistical analysis, is a bit more theoretical in nature. And finally, we have a beautiful research training program in physics that goes on. It's actually part of the physics non-routine problem solving program. If you are new to this channel, you may check the link in the description for the physics program for adults like grades 8 and above. And uh, the research training program for physics is actually included in that. You can check that out. I think the entire process of research can contribute a lot to a child's development. It's a whole new learning experience. And in this world of generative AI and artificial intelligence and so on, creativity, collaboration and research is the next step in education. I urge all the students to actually uh, participate in this process if you are interested in research. There is another part of Chitta which also encourages entrepreneurship. So if you're not interested in research, but if you're interested in entrepreneurship, like creating new products or new services and bringing, it, bringing them to the market, that is another thing that you can also do. So reach us out if you want some help. We have an excellent community for over of over like 700 students and all of them can help you to build something really nice and we have a team of 35 teachers faculty members uh, researchers who are also participating in the process so the entire community of chinda is actually excited about the prospects of future thank you for joining in for in this particular video in the link in the description i have put the offerings of research for 2024 you can check it out and fill in the form if you want to get the orientation session. All right? Thank you for joining in. Bye.